on, something or nothing. We're back out Oakhampton camp. Today we've got another uh, viewer's request, Andrew Ross. Shout out to you, sir. Thank you for giving us this route, which we're going to do. Again, we're done, doing a, a hike and a camp. It's been a glorious week, the hottest week of the year so far. And uh, now it's, it's clearing up a bit. It's been raining this morning, so it's about midday we've sort of hung on before we come out. Horrendous thunderstorms last night. Oh, I've never known anything like it. It was just like a strobe show. Amazing. Hopefully we won't get that tonight, especially if we're up on a tour. I've got a new tent I'm going to try out. Nath, what are you doing? Tarping again. Yeah, I was hoping to get a new tarp that was going to be bigger and sort of slightly protect me better from wind and rain. But I was like, oh, it's pretty summertime, the weather's really nice. I'll be all right with my little tarp, you know, just a bit of shelter from condensation and uh, whatnot. But yeah, it turns out uh, there's weather warnings across the whole of the southwest for the whole weekend for rain, flash floods. So, happy days, can't wait. <laughs> yeah, so this is going to be a test. I hope you can hear us here, we shout a bit over the wind. Um, we haven't had it this windy for a while. So Andrew Ross has sent us back out and we're going to visit some of the tours that we visited on our very first time, which is well, almost just over a year ago. But this is to celebrate our year together, no. <laughs> A year of summit or nothing. A year of summit or nothing. And to celebrate it, we've been working on a, a special handshake, haven't we, Trev? Oh yeah, yeah. The summit or nothing salute. Hang on, on the wrong hand. Yeah. <laughs> and on your own, it looks like this. Yeah. Like that. Nick on Darmo, if you're going to sort of give us a little salute and a shout out for our Summit or Nothings on top of the tours, now you've got to learn our special <coughs> salute. All right? That and Tim from Viking Outdoors. Uh, yeah, and Tim. So. Thank you for that shout out. I really enjoyed watching that video. It made me chuckle. <laughs> So we're off, but I'll just read a bit of the uh, walk. If I can pick up the map again. A bit windy up here today. Let's get in the boot here. Right, so Andrew Ross had emailed me the instructions of where to go. We've parked somewhere around where he's told us to. Here are details of a decent walk in the Oakhampton area, but taking some very pleasant scenery and the highest part of the moor, which is High Willets. Says, while some, in brackets, fat people, may consider some sections hard going, they are short, and as it is a circular walk, you are never far from your car. The only bit of kit you definitely need is a decent pair of boots. As you know by now, this part of Dartmoor is rocky with lots of clitter. In brackets, stop laughing at the back. Once parked, cross the ford, turn right and head onto Black Down, which is where we're going to head in a minute. And then we'll be heading towards the R of Red Aven Brook on your map. We'll get to the uh, R of Red Aven Brook and then we'll come back to the paperwork. So, back on the moors. It's been just over a month since we was out last. We got some new gear that we would have, you would have seen in the kit video. I'll put a link in the right up below. One of which is my new rucksack, which is a Van Gogh Sherpa. Already it feels more comfortable on my back. Also got a new tent to try out, which is another Van Gogh product. The Van Gogh Banshee 200, which is a, a smaller two-man tent than the uh, the Mirage that we used last time. So I'm hoping it'll be a little bit warmer. Well, don't want to be walking down here. Okay. Let's skim around this, shall we, Nate? Yeah, let's walk around. Moby's back with us. He's uh, had a break the last couple of times we come out, but he's back with us today. Loving life. And there's, there is blue sky trying to break through, so I think waiting a couple of hours before we went out was the right thing to do there, Nate, don't you? Yeah, possibly a good choice, I reckon. <coughs> I've got to be honest, um, compared to last time, the weight on my back is just bliss. Uh, you know, I know we've only been walking a few hundred yards, but already it uh, just feels like nothing in comparison. You know? So uh, it's going to be a real test of comfort against um, weight or um, 
comfort in camp against comfort whilst walking, I guess, is the best comparison. We'll see how it pans out. Probably get to the campsite tonight and realise that I've forgotten water or food or sleeping bag or something really important, but we'll see. the shits. Have you ever seen so much shit in one place? Yeah, on our YouTube channel. <laughs> Load of shit. I know, I know. Yeah, I know. Right, so we've got to our first instruction, which was to reach Black Down. We've head towards Black Down along these tracks. Oh, look at it. The sun over there. That's looking beautiful. See some views already. Views. We've took a bearing again. We know we're heading that direction. Down towards Red Aven Brook. So we walk down this track till we sort of get the bend and then we can veer off. It is starting to thin out. You can start to see some tours, some blue sky. Birds are singing. It's still quite windy, but I think it is dying down a little bit. Let's hope so. Um, crack of cracking on. What is this penis doing? Well, this must be the valley. Oh, is that the valley? Is that the valley? Red of Embrook, is that right? Where's your ball, Mobs? It says Red of Embrook, you. The only trouble with going down is you've got to go back up. That's your highest point in North Devon over there. <laughs> the whole of the southwest. In the southwest. The whole of the south of the UK below the Breck and Beacons. Beacons. We said that in our first video. Yeah. Andrew Ross has said, next, next, skirt around Longstone and Omerton Hill or spend some time at them if you wish to photograph Meldon Reservoir and then head towards Blacktor. So Black Tour is around this corner here, isn't it? So we got a... We're lost. You're not lost. Trev's navigating again. Fuck off. Oh, there's a fern forest over here. Do you want to navigate now? <laughs> Bitter. <laughs> Well, we're low now, Nathan, aren't we? Yeah. Wall of up around us. Surrounded by up. Unless we just want to go for a dip in the old reservoir. You know, trying to sex our channel up a bit, so we bought Speedos, didn't we? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That wasn't a joke. You bought yours as well, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course we bought mine. So, um, if the sun stays out, we get down to Melden and we have a dip, yeah? Yep. You bought the body part. Nate's found a way over here. Where did you cross? From there to onto that rock? 
Guck, Gate ist auch noch da. Slippery. Knife missed the trick there, he should have been filming. Oh yeah. Run under. <laughs> the foot on the stone, which I only barely went up his foot, got soaked. So the next foot I panicked, trod right in the water. It didn't even get wet, even though it was up to my ankle. Figure that out. Spot boy, in it? Dark war. Jesus, man. I love all the trees in it out there. They're beautiful. Oh, they are. Uh, railway bridge. You know, with all the conifers and monifers and body cards and cussing grains and bunagrants. I don't know what trees are called. I'm getting a book for my birthday so I can start identifying trees. What ones do you know? Oak. Peach. I don't. I can recognise a few. What about willow? Yeah. Beach? Beach, probably. I don't know yet. I don't. I've Hazel. never really looked. I've never been in. You know me. I'm just coming into myself for, for a change. <laughs> into my own. <laughs> up there behind the reservoir that's where we've started in the past when we've come up here so I had loads of um, big ideas about counting calories and grams per calorie and watched loads of videos on hiking food and sort of this that and the other and I've got my trail mix measured it out into little bags but I think I got enough food in there for two days like you know so uh, still more work to be done, saved a lot of weight, uh, got the new stove which is loads lighter, the old uh, jet boil, going to use that for its first time in anger out on the hills in a minute. There's definitely an improvement over last time, but there's still more can be done. Just running it through my head now I was carrying my pack, I reckon I can shave another two kilos off the weight, but we'll, uh, we'll get to that give us another three or four months and there'll be another kit review and just as it gets ultra light it'll come into winter and then we'll be carrying all the wet weather gear again and it'll be like oh I don't want to sleep under a tarp I need a tent uh. well here we are up above Meldon anyway what I've done here just set up the camera got me little time-lapse device time-lapse remote set it five second intervals you can hear the camera clicking away there so I'm hopefully taking some nice photos of these clouds over here sweeping across I could do with a nice wide angle lens it's quite a boxy little frame I'm afraid but hopefully we'll get some nice shots there to feed in here as well talking of feed we're gonna feed ourselves now and we got our, our jet balls we're gonna try and renew yep just try not to get mauled by horseflies. I think I'm becoming feed for other animals. Oh, are you? Yeah. I've got some midgy spray. I might it? put my jacket on in a minute, that'll be enough. If I get more than sort of 10 bites, then I start to sort of go into anaphylactic shock. <laughs> we'll see what happens.
We're jet boiling the fuck out of it here. And this knife. This boy. Having a race. Knife's going to use the bottom of his jet boil for his mug. But I'm just going to get my mug out. I'm off. I'm boiling. That didn't take long at all. It's nice to be testing out new gear. Even nicer knowing mine was nearly 20 quid cheaper than Nafe's. Fuck you. Same product. <laughs> How was that then, there? Well, I've had better ideas. Yeah? Not really working out for you? <laughs> Can't fucking pick it up, it's too hot to hold with my fucking hands. Imagine what? if you had like a tin mug with a handle on it that didn't get so hot you couldn't hold it. That'd be ingenious, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be ideal? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I reckon it would. <laughs> Must be doing a bit of contouring, haven't we, Nate? across or around the side of Longstone Hill, it's nice looking down on the reservoir, you know, there is a track that walks around the outside of it, but you don't quite get to see everything, you just see the reservoir, like, you know? so we've stayed up high and we've decided to draw contour around the side of the hill, keep our height as we come around the side and contour around Homerton Hill, there's no pressure today, it feels like there's no pressure, yeah. right? you know, it's not, it's not big mileage, we're never really that far from the car having a nice steady ramble like you know. So today we're really filling in the gaps of where we've been on the North Moor here. If you look over there at Sorton, where we done our first ever visit to the Moors. We've tracked all the way along there, over to this rocky outcrop there, Shellstone Tor. That's where I had my first piss on Dartmoor. Uh, and then we cut down into the valley there, across the river and into Blackator Cops, and then up to Blackator that we can see over here now. Today we're going to go down to Blackator Cops, cut across the river, and we're hoping to find something of historical importance. But looking at it here, it could take some finding, so we'll see how it goes. storms and god it did chuck it down so i think it's wetter today than if we'd have been here yesterday it wouldn't have been as boggy into the cottontail territory now these grow in boggy areas andrew ross did say about this in his write-up says uh be careful as it's deceptively boggy you do a lot of cotton grass hopping here so that's what that is you basically you find the tufts and you uh, walk across the tufty bits. I've been here before! <laughs> We're treading the same areas again. That's how small Dartmoor is. We're yeah. just going over it again. <laughs> G6 vibe done it in a year. I remember this again. pool. Oh yeah, I was doing it again, wasn't I? Over at the cops. 
We've got across this river, but somehow I'm not convinced we're coming. It's raging. Um, us getting across is one thing, but we've got to think about little mobs. We get washed away in that if he's not careful. It is absolutely gushing. Look at this. Beautiful. Black at all cops. You reckon he just got it sort of flew in the side of the bank though? Possibly. It's like the worst game of Where's Waldo in your life. Yeah. So what it is we're trying to find is, is a, a downed uh, plane from World War II that should be up there opposite Blackator Cops up on that bank. I've got a grid reference and I've circled it on our map. Um, but at the moment we can't get over there. So we're just having a scan with the binoculars. See what we can find. I watched a video that Andrew Ross had sent me a link to and the chap found it. And George Post, prior to that, had messaged and said, try and find some of the planes. There are a lot of planes crashed in uh, Dartmoor. This is the first one I heard of, and it sort of linked in with Andrew's request walk, recommended walk, which also linked into our anniversary walk. So everything was like, oh, this is meant to be, but now we're here, it's like it's not meant to be after all. So then, uh, we're going to give up on this bomber because we can't get across. We've trekked a fair bit of the old uh, river, haven't we? Yeah, I think it's just. Uh with the weather we had yesterday, it's too wet, there's too much water. We can't get across safely with the dog, so fill water bottles and head up. Yeah. So we're here. What do you want to do? Black tour, high wheel ace, yes tour, and over? Yeah, we could do, can we? We're here now, aren't we? So we're we going back to Black Tour, we're going to miss Black Tour and just try and go to high wheel ace. Well, we'll just go up, see what happens. So we're going to go like this. You don't reckon it'd be easier to go back and up where we went? It'd be further. Might be easier, but it'd be further. Yeah. That's my thoughts on the matter. Fucking do it then. Let's fucking do it. That's a fair road up. Such a little word. There might not be any true mountains on Dartmoor, but this footage doesn't do it justice. But this scrabbling that we're doing now, up the side of Black Tour, High Wheelies, and Yes Tour, is uh, it's on a par, although the altitudes are different, with what we experienced at Triffin. This is hard. Oh. Biggest up on Dartmoor, as Nath pointed out to me a minute ago. Oh. Oh, I've got to go up a mountain next month. Oh, not ready. Oh, I guess I'll never be ready. Put that down. Get here. Get here. Come on. We've come up out of Blackatore Cops. Black tour to the side of us. We just deviated him. 
bit from your plan there, Andrew. And we're coming up Forgeland Ledge. We've got a kilometre to walk. We've got a hundred metre rise over a kilometre to get up to High Relays. The highest point in Dartmoor at 600, 621 metres above sea level. It's easy when you're uh, watching the videos back to forget these moments when you're between tours and you're between sections and landmarks and things of interest. You forget how tiring it can be. And to uh, put it in perspective, we're walking up the highest point in southern England, south of the Brecon Beacons, through some really damp ground, and uh, your feet are wet. We've lost the tour ahead of us. It just seems to be endless, an endless stomp. I can see high willows, and I see where we come from, and uh, it's meant to be a kilometre between the two points. It's not that far. Now, nope. when you're up here, and you're going uphill, and your feet are wet and you're tired, it seems like, I don't know, forever. So this over here, Sorton, obviously, right down there. Then that's Corn Ridge. And we walked all across that before. Over to there, little hut there. I think that was Kitty Tour. And uh, it was such a long walk when we got there, it's hardly worth being there. <laughs> then we cut across to Great Links, which I've got a feeling might be what you can see the top of Great Links there. But it's nice. It's beautiful scenery. You're here with a mate and your dog. It's fresh air. All week I've had a block nose. Up here, it's the clearest I ever breathe. High Willows. Yeah. Almost there, Nave? Yeah, almost. You know when you come over the crest of the hill, you know there's three clumps of rock. Only one of them's the highest point. You realise that the one you've been walking to isn't the highest one. And you've got to make a right hand turn and walk another fucking half a mile. To get to the highest point before you can celebrate. It's exhilarating. Yeah. You feel like you burn a rest when you get there. I think we both deserve one here. Here we are. High relays. Highest point. Sauron so Navi! Fuck, oh, I feel like oh, I'm going to pass out. That was a long time coming, that. <laughs> it's a weird thought, but right now, there's nobody in the south of England who's touching the ground that is higher than we are until you get to the south of Wales. That's nuts. Isn't it? Great miss over there. I think it could be. Last time we went up Dartmoor, we went to Two Bridges area. Saw lots of ponies. And uh, our number one viewer, George Post, comments every time without fail. Good lad, George. He said, pointed out we're missing a trick. With all them ponies around. Carrying them backpacks, we should just 
get them to take, <laughs> load the ponies up, and get them to do our carrying. And today we haven't even seen one. We've so, scuppered our plants. Seen a cow. Seen a cow. Seen lots of sheep. Got old poacher. We've got a dog. For, I don't think he'd manage. Yeah. Getting on in the top of the Yeah, he's an old boy. He's a good old boy though. Bit of affection every now and then, don't you? Just to keep it going. It's alright, boys. It'll be dinner time. Oh, I've got a whole sack of food for you in here tonight. Yeah. Enjoying yourself, Nath? Mm. Beautiful day. It's been good, hasn't it? The weather's been nice to us in the end. It's absolutely amazing looking out across there. Mm. Chin chin. Bit of rum up the top of the hill. We've got the Captain Morgan spiced rum in there today. Ooh, nice. That warms your food, doesn't it? I got a little bit toasty cockle. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking block. This was Yes Tour, we've had a stop. Uh, so from here, we're following Andrew Ross's instructions again. We're in part six. From High Willays, you can head to Yes Tour. We have. Then go down into the valley and up West Mill Tor over there. This valley is also boggy, as you would expect, with a stream in it. Every summer I watch tourists whining about getting their feet wet. So uh, we're going over to West Mill Tor and I think we're going to camp over there tonight. Uh, down the other side of it. Down the other side of it, yeah. So yeah, we'll get on. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Well, Andrew, you said it was a bit boggy along here. We almost lost the dock. We just got down the bottom of the valley, crossed over the river here. And the first step the dog took, and he was up to his head. <sighs> Soon warms up in the sun. It's a beautiful tour, isn't it? Yes, tour. Absolute miles. You can see uh, the Bobby Moor over there, Exmoor over there. You can see the sea. 
glistening over on Bob Moor. We are lucky to live here, especially on a day like this, it makes it. You just see the, how far you can see. I could probably see my home from here. Right, Don, Don. That's my wife. He's up there. Just how the sun makes everything look amazing here. The greens look really green. The rocks look like precious silver. There's Moby. I can't look up with this bag on my head. Do you get that with yours? No. I did last time because I was carrying your tent everywhere. Yeah. Oh, you're a fucking lazy cat. Oh. Oh. All right, I'm up. Quit me groin. <laughs> Look at this. Summit up here, isn't it? Go on, give it one. Summit! The views are absolutely something else up here, aren't they? A spectacular part of the moor. Well, it's been a good day, Nathan, isn't it? Booty, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go and find somewhere to camp for the night. Oh, I reckon someone sat here with a 7.62 GPMG last night. Don't you? Look at this. All the fucking links. Cool as fuck. Let's make a chain. Yeah, but what's it going to weigh in, Nath? I've got to walk over that fucking hill. Just something cool to have dangling in the workshop, a memento. We don't often find something like that on Dartmoor, do we? No. This is bad, actually, because when I used to be in the army, when we used to go on exercise, yeah, we used to pick, really to pick everything up. That one didn't go. See those three there? They're live, are they? Quite possibly, yeah. That might be why they're over here. They've been hit. They might explode and kill you. They're not going to explode. They might. They're blanks. We're foam in the fire. <laughs> well, I'm going to leave Nafe up there. Making his chain. Can you see him? It's not something like that. I'm gonna go over here and set up my tent. Find a spot. Oh, this looks nice and level up here. I've got a cow watching me. I do love an audience. I'm going to camp here. Not too wet. Nice and firm. Pretty sm smooth and flat, isn't it, Mobes? The tent. First time using it in, with Angus. Oh, no, no. So, Mike, here we go. I'm going to set up the tent, mate. 
Mike from Cornish Knives and Camping. Hashtag stay Cornish. First look at your tent, buddy. Been looking forward to this. It's been a long time coming. Find your trail shop, Bebe. Find your trail shop. That water looks as clear as it's going to be, doesn't it? It looks clearer than the rest, doesn't it? Right, MSR, trail shop. They must have some confidence in this because otherwise a lot of people are going to make themselves ill and try and sue them. So that tells me this must be great. The only thing that annoys me is that is the side that you want to pour it. I won't make it the other side. So I've got to hold it at an angle of 45 degrees, pump it 10 times to prime it, and then it goes into the water bottle, and then I'm going to drink straight from it. Right. Thanks a rock, I thought we found a snack or something. It's going to be quite a slow process, isn't it? How much is in each squirt, do you reckon? I'm more than halfway there already. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You ready? So, if you don't hear from me again, this doesn't work. All right? That's nice. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Tastes like fruits of the forest. Hopefully, we'll survive this. Thank you, MSR. Well, now let's go and have a look at our campsite. Oh, I don't want them stumbling down here in the night and tripping over my fucking tarp. Oh, talking of your tarp. Let's have a look, boy. Beautiful, beautiful. So what I did last time is I fed this main string through these. Yeah. But this time I've not done that. Ah. so that I get a downward slope at the ends as well. I am a bit concerned, now that I've set it up, that there's like a path for animals down there. And Reason. by the shits, it's only little goats and things. Apart from this horse dung. Oh, yeah. There's no big animal shit down here. I mean, horses are fairly small, right? They are around here. Yeah. Like more ponies, aren't they? Little tiny ponies. Yeah, not even horses, are they? Just ponies. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah, they're right. Hey! Come on, have a look at mine. Oh, what have we done there, Trev? I've only gone and put up my bloody Van Gogh banshee. 60 quid. Look how taut. 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 So that was uh, Mike, Cornish Knives and Camping. There's a link in the comments below. There we are, Mike. It's up. Key features, Trev? Key features. It's got a door on it. It's got guide ropes. Some there. It's got a little window. A little window here at the side. That's where I'm living tonight. Just do some boiling the bags. Shouldn't us get some fucking dinner on, shouldn't us? Shouldn't us. Basically, cooking a boil in the bag, timing it with my phone, boiling it in my new jet boil zip. I don't know if with these, you'd be better off leaving the top open. It's not going to be as efficient because you're losing steam and stuff. Just working that out. The water that's boiled afterwards will make me coffee. And then in the meantime, I've been uh, making a necklace. You like it? I love it, Nate. I love it. So your boil in the bag is what? Uh, spicy sausage and pasta. So you're going to let us know how that goes. Yeah. And I'll go over here and make mine. So, here I am, cosy in me uh, banshee. Food I've gone for is the dry mix I'm going to try. Pasta bolognese, eight minutes, quick and quick and tasty. You just add water. So what it says here, open pouch at the tear notch. Remove oxygen absorber. Ooh, what the heck's that? Do not eat. So I'll close that up in a minute. I don't need that at the moment. I've got to get my jet ball set up. It's easier to get it in than it is to get it out. <laughs> I like the little stand. Like so. Whack him up. He's off. He's 
boiling. How's it going? Better than ever. You enjoying your food? Yes. Is it better than the last one? Difficult to say. I'm really hungry. This is hot and it's spicy. So it could be hot, spicy, dog shit. It's not as good. <laughs> right, we're on. Boiling over. I will turn it up, fuck's sake. It's very full, so I want to be careful taking it off. I might just fucking lift it up. The beauty of this jet boil I like is the uh, the cloth handle there. So you've got your lovely little pouring nozzle in here. It smells nice. <coughs> Get your knife and spork. Let's stir with the spoon end. I had me melon today. I like me melon. I cut it all up yesterday, prepared it packed it straight into my bag, I forgot to put it in the fridge. Fermented, to say the least. So now I'll do the zipper up. Leave that stand for eight minutes. So this is with trail shot water, my new jet boil. Oh, it's fantastic, we've got loads of new stuff and we're having fun. I've um, posted some pictures up on Instagram and today I put a photo up of my camera at Venford Reservoir taking time-lapse shots. I've had 12 likes. So yeah, I'm not a big player. Oh, Viking Outdoors has put one up as well. Oh, and then he's put a nice time lapse up. So I'll give them a like. One minute left for me boiling the bag. Uh, nice coffee anyway. We're there, I'm going for it. So it's not too hot to touch, which is nice. Hmm, perhaps could have done with a bit more water, it's stoggy. But tasty. It's more like a more impressive pot noodle. Oh, right. good is it? Hmm. What do you know? Uh oh, I was just gonna say, um, so that's just been and filled up my water bottle again. Mm -hmm. Um that's two litres now so we've got 1998 litres left to go. Better bear that in mind. No, this was um, handsome right until I got into the corner <laughs> and there's like a big pocket of powder. Yeah, crunch him. Didn't quite get in the corners when you stir it. I preferred that to the uh, boil in the bag we had last time. Yeah. Mm. I'm just sharing some more pictures I've just took on Instagram so took one of Nate posing as an Adonis with his uh, MSR. <laughs> you alright boy? Yeah, all good, yeah. Got your new necklace? What? He's on about saving kilos. you got to keep the weight down, there's no point carrying anything unnecessarily heavy <laughs> around with you. Fucking block. Chad's going to have a go at uh, astrophotographer tonight, isn't he, Nath? Yeah. Providing cloud cover, don't come. I'd say it's a bit cloudy over there. Looks like it could be thunderstorms again, I hope not. But it's getting a bit damp, isn't it? A bit dewy. Some of them. Old tent looks cosy. Yeah, I should close the door, really. Do you want to go in my tent tonight, do you? After last time, shitty pants. And you've been eating carcasses. He's been eating animal shit and dead animal all fucking day, and he half a dead leg of a fucking lamb and Lamy. fucking rabbit and lamb droppings all fucking day. And I gotta fucking get him in my fucking dust sack. Well, they say that the uh, Milky Way's up there, but it might be a bit too hazy to see it. I don't know. We wait till it gets a bit darker, see if we can see any clap, any stars. See if it's worth getting my camera out. I didn't mention, did you like this? Oh, <laughs> I've not noticed that. <laughs> that Fucking Rambo. Found it lying around. I like the headlamp, I wish I had one like that. I don't know what what you mean. <laughs> Why haven't you got one? <laughs> Why haven't I got one, Mope? But Why haven't I got one, Nath? Here we are, I'm all set up with my camera, ready to try some uh, astrophotography. Whether it will work or not is another matter. I can see a couple of stars up there, it's not quite dark enough yet. Clouds all around us, so I'm just sitting here waiting. I bought me a uh, jet boil out. i have a hot chocolate in a minute. I've got me, uh, got me rums, have a bum, keep me warm. 
tried some shots, but for some reason I just cannot focus that camera. I was having this trouble before and I thought it might have been because I'm pressing the button. But I've put the self time on now, which I didn't think about doing last time, even though it said it in the instructions. So I've set that going now, so there's no wobble. Um, but it's still completely sort of blurry. Moby's come to see me. He's scared the shit out of me. I'm just come rubbed against me. I fucking jumped a mile. Doing me uh, hot chocolate now. Move in. Well, here we are. We're in the tent now. Let me go down. Sleeping bag. It's only a man in warehouse job. I must say the uh, astrophotography was a bit of a waste of time tonight. The stars out, it's dark. I just can't focus the bloody camera. It's driving me nuts. So I've got pistols. Um they've come out for a bit. Had a look around. But I was just packing up. Finishing with hot chocolate, which is handsome. The galaxy hot chocolate is really nice. But now that's it for the night. I'm retiring. Did see in a second hand shop a while back a book of all the Dartmoor legends. And I never bought it. But Imagine if I had, I could have told you a different legend every time. So maybe I'll look out for that book. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you in the morning, whatever that brings. Uh, what did happen was I forgot to pack a spare pair of socks. And you don't realise until you take your boots off to get in your sleeping bag just how wet your socks are. Um, but I don't want to take them off because then I'll have to put on wet socks in the morning, so I'm going to just have to get foot rock, so, which was nice. It's, um, it's five o'clock in the morning. The uh, sheep woke me up. There's loads of them bleating around my tent. Took it out for urinations. I need to find. It's gone. But look. doing a time lapse and the sunrise so I'm just leaving that going a minute but there's some fucking beautiful ground mist over there I know it's too early to be up but it's, it's lovely this is why I wanted to come to do things like this make the most of this yeah that's it I woke up and I looked across to your tent and I thought there's Nave I was waiting for a night trek. Fog was it all? Oh, he was freaking right out. Yeah, he wouldn't fucking settle and he just kept hearing shit and he was flicking around. You, dog. You. I don't know if he had an upset stomach or something. He couldn't fucking settle in here. Oh. And then uh, he kept going out and he farting and fucking stinking. Oh, I was fucking eating. <laughs> I think I'll leave Nafe to it. I didn't mean to wake him up. So what time is it? I said five in the morning. Oh. Moby to stay with me. Nave can have a sleep. Yeah, Moby. Come on, Moby. Good boy. Get the jet ball going. 
Patrick, I'm glad I've done the 10 second time lapse because uh, the sun doesn't seem to be rising as quick. It's like clouds move, so. But it's a shame because I'm missing all the ground mist over the other side. I'd like to be catching that. If he was over there, if he was on that tour over there, then uh, we'd be getting some good shots of the cloud over there. Then, uh, Smells good already. That's bright sun now. I've lost the bloody dog again. Moby! Moby! Right, well, I'm in the tent. I've had hot chocolate. I don't think we're going to finish our circular. Now the car's there, I reckon we'll just go when they've given up. So, I'm just gonna do a bit more. This is Andrew Ross's email to me. Number seven. From West Mill, I recommend that you head to the Military Firing Range Miniature Railway Loop C. Ray Mears program about Dartmoor. I'll send you a link in a moment. He did send me a link, I didn't watch it, but I have seen it before. But until you know this area well, take care as it's deceptively boggy. You will do a lot of cotton grass hopping here. Wish me luck. Clouds look like an ocean over there. I don't know if you ever remember the beginning of Airplane 2, where they sort of mimic Jaws. And you see this airplane fin, airplane tail coming up through the clouds. That's what it looks like to me. What was it, the beginning of Airplane? It might have been the beginning of Airplane. Yeah, it was. It's quite bizarre, really. We are right up above all that cloud. It's a bit like waking up on top of a mountain, I should imagine. Not that I've done that yet. Well, here we are at the railway loop. Let's have a look. Morning. Oh, I didn't mean to wake you. I was just filming the railway tracks. All right. Can you tell us much about them? So I guess the little carts are kept in this set of doors here. I've seen Ray go into them, I think. Oh my God. Nice. Well, I better keep Moby away from this because there's like a hoof there and it's pretty grim. So anyway, the tracks come out of there, come out of those doors. Let's do a little loop. So that's what we put the targets on. junction here. How interesting. I really want to get some shots of this cloud. This seems to be some sort of way to put targets. Look at all the uh, bullet holes. Peppered them. So I imagine they do all that shooting. Across there at those huts, over to this target. The army. So, if there's going to be any dangerous shrapnel, it'll be around here. So, tread gingerly, getting an audience. They're all crowding in on us. Inquisitive, aren't you? What I might do is take my camera up there, 
do some time lapsing over there while Nathan's asleep. It's nice. It's a waste of a morning, Nathan. You're missing the best bits. I didn't give a review of my banshee either. Happy. I was comfy in here last night. It was cosy. It was warm. I was warm from the offset. Warmer than I was last time. I suppose the temperature has gone up a bit. It's no real test. It was a mild night. It was quite calm. But first night out in it, I enjoyed it. Hello, Mope. One other thing I've just noticed. My walking stick. Look. It's a Jalert Triffin. Like the mountain we'd done. Right. I'm going to go up. Do some time lapsing up here. Too good to miss. What are you eating? Stop eating carcass. Look, what you got? Don't eat that, you'll be sick. Duh, oh, you're eating wool. Stupid dog. Here we are. Top of West Mill Tour. Looking back over to Yes Tour. For not even half the height. It's still fairly impressive up here. Dawn Summit. Ah, oh, the clouds have sort of dissipated now. It's too early for a summit or nothing. Well, I'm glad we ain't got to walk back to there today. I do love these binders, it's so good. thinking as I'm walking away from that tour. I thought that was West Mill Tour and I'm looking up at Yes Tour but we walked down Yes Tour and then into a valley and then up another tour so maybe that tour over there is West Mill Tour. The tour behind me might be Val Tour or something. I get all confused. That creeping in over there. Well, I'd just like to say, Andrew Ross, thank you for recommending this walk. I know we took in some sites that we've already seen, but we was intending to come back here on the year anyway. So your email, although it was ages and ages ago you sent it, it couldn't have come at a better time. We've got some beautiful shots. I managed to get up at the sunrise. Catch the sun. Who's that getting up? Bob Bob. Oh boy. Alright boy. Naked. One o'clock this morning. Fortunately, there was a track that led right to it, so it was easy. Then it was like, oh, how sure am I that this is the road that leads to where we're camping? So I had to drive up here, 
when I got out at this dead end and I was like, this doesn't look anything like where we were. <laughs> but it was. It was. Yeah, we're just over there. Mm. Yeah, I've been over there this morning to the railway and then up to the tour up there, rail tour. And then just a car feel I'll oh, stuck I'll go climb up that one again. Do you want a hot chocolate? I'm gonna come down for a coffee, yeah. I'm gonna get the uh, jet boil on. Oh yeah. Morning toot. Toot toot! Mmm. Piss. Piss taste first thing in the morning. Oh you're so good. No, it's like a pepper it's like a peppermint piss. All right, mate. What have you got there? Um, warm oh, it's chicken soup, is it? Warm milky water with some oats in the bottom. Got to be honest, this hasn't been my best camping trip. Dog was shit last night. The dog was shit. Didn't get to sleep under the tarp. Middle of the night. Walked across the fucking moor, find the car, drove back, grab a sleeping bag, went to sleep in the car, because he'd be happier. Then he wanted to get out of the car, then he wanted to get in the car. I think the half a dead animal leg he was trying to eat yesterday's upset his stomach, so he's farting and stinking. Oh, I'm fucking knackered, tired, pissed right off. Thought, oh yeah, at least I've got oats. At least I've got me oats in the morning, at least too much fucking water in there. Oh, fucking, oh, that shit, fucking shit today. Well, the camp all packed away, all in my bag. Campsite cleared, we're off. Ain't got too far a hike back to the car, which is ideal. Literally up over this brow, and we're there. There he is. So, that was, so, and rub me eyelet. So that was another summit or nothing hike and wild camp yep. on the moor that's dart. Dartmoor. I enjoyed myself. Someone didn't have a very good night, which is a shame. I enjoyed nice it, everything morning. about it, just uh, didn't get a good night's sleep. So I think we both say a big thank you to Andrew Ross for emailing us that circular route. Highly recommend it. I'll tell you what I might do is copy his instructions down into the comments below and then other people can copy that as well. Have a look and do Andrew's walk. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Can I, um, actually, I just want to thank uh, my mum and dad for constantly encouraging me through this trauma my youth. And also I've had a lot of positive uh, feedback about some of nothing from uh, other family members um, that I've seen this boat to since. I just want to say thanks to everyone for this. Yeah, you know. good so, on you. Yeah. Cheers guys. Thank, thank you all for you. watching. And. Uh, yeah, if you haven't already, please give us a like, comment below, and uh, subscribe. We are Trev, Nafe, Summit or Nothing, signing off. That's our thing now. So do you. As well as shouting our heads off on top of doors. Cheers.